We're at the NWFA Wood Floor Expo. We're in St. Louis. I'm with David Wooten, well-known global international wood guy. David, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Dave. It's good to see you here. Good to see you here. Let me ask you first about this show. What's your take on this show and better than last year? Uh, yeah, I think it's better than last year. And what's interesting to me, of course, is it's the 30th anniversary. And I've now been in the States 20, this is my 26th year. So it was only four years old. And boy, has this show come a long way and the association come a long way. And, and the product category has come a long way over the last uh, 26 years, has huh? it? Certainly has. I think when I came to the States, for example, wood was only a very small category. Uh, engineered wood was 1% of the market. Pre-finished wood was about 10% of the market, and, uh, and now it's one of, the, one of the major categories, and it's, and it's good to see. The good thing about this show is the people who come are wood people. They know, most of them know a hell of a lot more than I do for a start, and uh, it's just a really, really, really nice show. It's like meeting old friends here. What are your expectations in terms of growth in wood in the United States go going forward, say, over the next 8, 10 years? Well, I think... It's going to continue to grow. I think we're going to see engineered coming to even even greater height, simply because the raw materials are so so unstable in in the uh, lumber market. You know, there's been a shortage over the last few years. That that's put prices up. That's hurt the market. Seems to be a little better now, from what I understand. Uh, but it's going to come back again. So I think engi engineered is going to it's going to move forward. And you know, at the moment, the hot topic is LVT. So, uh, hey, all these things come around. You know, LVT has seen a lot of iterations, a lot of variety. I'm wondering if there's room for development like that in the engineered wood set. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the change in the wood is going to come in the finishes. I mean, obviously, you know, wood is wood. We can't change that. But I think you're going to get more finishes. It's interesting to see oiled wood is now getting more interesting. And... I was telling someone today that the story with oiled wood, it's got to be marketed well in the States because you, I don't think the American housewife is going to be too happy if she thinks she's got to oil the floor every three months. You know. So that's a good selling point, but I think, I think that will be good. And LVT, you know, there's going to be a lot of LVT in the market very soon. And one thing in all segments of the market that we're very good at doing here is we get a new product, it's good, people are making nice margins out of it, and it's... Four millimeters. Oh, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we make it three millimeters, then we could sell more. And why not two? And why not one? And before we know where we are, we've driven the price down, there's overcapacity, and interest wanes. And hopefully that won't happen in this case, but it's showing signs of it. And there's going to be a lot of, a lot of capacity out there. Next couple of years in LVT is going to be interesting. And, of course, the choice that people are going to have to make between LVT and WPC. That's another newcomer to the marketplace. Will the L remain in LVT well, there'll be a hell of a lot of it, Dave. That's all I can say. Now, David, you're a busy guy. I mean, they told me back when you had retired, but it seems like you're busier now than ever. Uh, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. But, you know, I missed the industry when I, when I, when I stopped working. And uh, after a couple of years, I got some phone calls asking me to help out in certain areas, which I did, and I enjoyed it. And, you know, and then one thing led to another. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I work mainly for overseas companies. Uh, who are probably wanting to better understand the American market. I'm involved with an Australian company on some intellectual property, doing some work with a Malaysian, uh, Malaysian company on some personnel work. And then, uh, most recently, I've become involved with a Chinese company that uh, has good business in the big box stores and wants to develop uh, kind of some higher-end business via distribution. And I just find it interesting, and it helps me keep in contact, and... Uh, it's just some nice vacations. And now, you know, splitting our time, I live three months in the States, three months in the UK. Uh, but when you're working with global companies, that's easy. In fact, it's easier in the UK because the time difference is not as brutal as it is, uh, as it is here. So you do a lot of brutal traveling. Uh, yeah, but I quite like the travel. It's okay. And I'm small, I'm small so it doesn't find it too much on the airline seats. Well, we, uh, we missed you in Shanghai. You were there, I was not. What, what was that show like? As usual, it just got um, bigger and bigger, busier and busier, and uh, it's maturing. You know, the Chinese companies have come a long way. Obviously, there's been a bit of a hit to the reputation of Chinese companies because, you know, you're, uh, you know, you're all tarred with the same British, you might say. So the issues that uh, 
have been happening in the laminate market have affected everybody, but that's, that's just some, another thing that we have to overcome and will. What are your expectations in terms of big news items where World Trade uh, Organization um, and others, um, how, how are those going to play out? Have we heard the last of those? Well, I don't think so. I mean, we seem to be hearing more about them. I mean, I mean the Lacey Act, uh, the uh, carb regulations on the West Coast. No, I think we're going to hear more about those, Dave. And, and, and you know, to some extent, not a bad thing. It, uh, it means that you've got to man up and, and, and produce a product that, that works and uh, has a good reputation. And uh, that's the way you're going to grow. You know, you can't, uh, you can't fool about w with a product that comes into play with people every day. Um, do, you, do you think the lumber liquidator situation, you know, the, the program that appeared on uh, 60 Minutes, um, has that sort of broad brushed a lot of uh, Chinese product? Obviously that was in, um, in um, the laminate sector, but I'm wondering if other sectors are going to be affected by it. Probably. A short time, but it's you know it's a big story. It, it, it'll go away. Uh, it's not certainly not something for me to comment on. But uh, you know the only problem I have with any TV program is uh, you don't get the right to reply and respond. So you know I feel their pain. They'll come through it. Well, it seems like too a multitude of stories have been developed on that. Some of which aren't even close. To pinpointing what, what the problem is, and I think it leaves a lot of consumers with a, with, a, with a misconception. It's a lot easier to report sensationalism than whether you're better off with a 3 16th top layer versus a quarter inch. And a lot of people jump on the bandwagon and often misery loves company. And uh, as I say, I feel the pain. It's a good company, it's a good, good business model, and, and they'll come through it. Tell us again, you're here with YSS Flooring North America. Talk a little bit about the products you're showing here. Well, YSS uh, is a subsidiary of a Chinese company, a uh, large Chinese company, got four manufacturing plants in, uh, in the uh, Yishi area uh, near the Sea of Bamboo. Interesting product. You know, Bamboo's had some knocks in the last couple of years, you know, with uh, stability issues and that. We've developed a, a, multi a product with a multi-layer core, a strand woven top layer and we also make some uh, solid products but it's what, what we're presenting here is a range for distribution as I say it's multi-layer core eucalyptus core actually with a uh, wear layer of bamboo nice thick wear layer and uh, it's what the industry wants it's long and wide it's seven and a half inches wide by uh, six feet long it's tongue and groove installation because you know the retailers still like to sell adhesives and things like that uh, eight colors, fashion colors, and uh, quite a nice response to it at the show. As I say, still some resistance out there to bamboo, but that's something that we'll, uh, that we'll overcome. They're loosening that a little bit. <laughs> the trade here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and what's, what's interesting, of course, is, you know, we've still got this anti-dumping uh, sort of Damocles hanging over the uh, engineered import industry. And bamboo doesn't fall under that because bamboo is a grass and not a wood. So, you know, the next round of increases in the anti-dumping is, I think it's set for July, I may be wrong, but I think it's July. And they're talking about some horrendous increases. And, and if that applies, then that's going to hurt Chinese uh, imports of engineered wood and will certainly make bamboo more attractive for a price point product. You're, you're here at a good time. Oh, who knows what a good time is, Dave. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this show? Oh, I'd give it a, an 8 out of 10. It always has a good feel about it. It's like, uh, it's like a meeting of old friends as well as, uh, as, well as everything else, and it's, it's nice to be here. Well, they've done a good job with it in organizing it, and certainly the product category is growing, and you can see it with a number of people. Here. Yeah, I, and you know the other thing about this show? It's affordable. It's affordable. You've got a good number of people here. As I say, everybody who comes to visit this show is knowledgeable about the product and you can have some sensible discussions and you can get some good input. They're not short to give you their opinions about what they think you should be doing and you, you, remember, the pro you remember the comments, you go through them and you take them on board where, where, the, where they were good comments. David, thanks so much for talking with us and have a good trip back. Dave, it's a pleasure. Good to see you again. Yes, sir. We'll be talking to you again okay. soon.
We've been talking with David Wooten, uh, international, I was going to say YSS North America. This is Talk Floor TV.